Hi guys, it's Mark and Pussy here and I'm going to try something I haven't really done before. I'm going to try and do a tier list and I'm going to do it based on Radiohead's discography on my knowledge of it, which a little bit of hit and miss, but screw it. We'll go in, we're going to get started straight away with our first album, Pablo Honey, which Despite having creep on it, I'm going to put it here, because other than that, I don't actually think there's any other songs really, really worth paying attention to. I know they had Banana Co around that time that I love, but that is a B-side, and I don't think it's on that album, and therefore it is D-list. Um, then we have... <laughs> The next controversial choice, which is going to be the Benz, which I'm going to be putting. Somewhere in there. I'm going to. I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to. Right, I'm going to put A. Because it has got some really good songs on it. It's got Street Spirit and Black Star and a couple other ones that I really like. But there was at that point they were still doing the kind of indie rock that I don't particularly enjoy that much. And it was very good indie rock, granted, but it's still it's never going to be my favourite type of Radiohead album, so for me it's an A, but you know what, I'm actually going to take it down to a B, because I, I, I don't like to listen to it that much, those are albums that I like more. Um, OK Computer is going to an A, which I think is also maybe controversial, but OK, right, Paranoid Android, absolute masterpiece. I kinda like Karma Police and then I feel like it falls off a cliff towards the end. Lucky is one of the best Radiohead songs. Um, exit music for a film, gorgeous, but you've got like Fitter Happier and Climbing Up The Walls and stuff which are good but they're not like Radiohead at their best so A. It's a high A but it's an A. Then it gets a bit, this is when they started to get a wee bit experimental and I remember buying Kid A on the day it came out and there had been no reviews for it, nobody had got pre-listens, it just came out, I bought it at like 9am, got home, put it on, was absolutely baffled as to what the hell I was listening to, but over time I've got to appreciate it more. And I'm going to put that, A, because I still think there is some stuff on there that is just noise. But, Idiotech, Morning Bell, there's some beautiful, beautiful songs on there. So, hi A, I think they went experimental, I think it worked for them. Here there is one that's going to be controversial, Amnesiac is an S tier album. Because it is the experimental side of Kid A, but warmer, and I think that works in its benefit. You and Who's Army, like spinning plates, life in a glass house, beautiful, beautiful songs. Radiohead at its peak. Hail to the Thief is gonna be. B, because I think it's half good and half crap. <laughs> 2 plus 2 equals 5. The best opening that Radiohead has to an album. Fight me, I don't care. It is. Um, it's got some absolutely beautiful and stunning songs on there. And then it's got some songs that are just unlistenable. And I don't like them. So... That's gone B tier, it is exactly half and half. Um, then we've got the King of Limbs, which goes firmly down here. 
because I have tried to listen to it and I cannot get through the first song. I don't like it. I feel like they went way off script in terms of what could be considered music. And yeah, dreadful album, start to finish. And then in Rainbows is gonna be going here because practically flawless practically a flawless album and it has got their best songs on it videotape and all i need and nude are three of the most beautiful songs ever written that's just a fact for some reason a moonshade pool is not on here but if it was it would also be gone b for the same reasons as hail to the thief i like half of it half of it i don't so it's not here but just imagine it is that's where it would be going and that i think looks pretty decent to me so yeah that that's my tier list for radiohead's discography let me know if you agree disagree put your comments below tell me why i'm wrong i don't care i'm right i'm right but you can spout your opinions as much as you want. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.